Um, before we start on the ballgame, uh, I'd just like to recognize that this is a big celebration, really, for the whole area, for uh, all of the unbelievably supportive things that Paul Allen has done for so many years around here. And, and I haven't been here for all of the years, of course, but uh, for almost half of them now. Um, he's been extraordinary in his, in his, his vision and extraordinary in his willingness to help. And, and his loyalty to this area and all of that, and I'm glad that we got to celebrate it today and have some fun with it. He was kind of, you know, kind of sheepish about it, you know, but uh, it's a big day, and, and uh, I know everybody recognizes it, and, and there's nobody that can see it any other way. So it's a very unique situation for us to have somebody that's so willing and uh, and just have such a heart about it. So that just fired up that that, that got recognized today. As far as the ball game, uh, games are hard. Jeez, the games are hard and uh, hard to win. And uh, particularly when uh, we did a couple things that were uncharacteristic for us, you know, I, th I thought we uh, um, didn't catch the ball as well as we normally do. And we, you know, we gave away a couple touchdowns early that would have really been a whole difference in this football game. And, and, uh, and then we missed some, some tackles that we don't normally miss. And, and uh, so it, those things were out of character for us a little bit. But um, uh, what I li did like is that we played tremendous defense all day long. And the guys played great and, and stayed with it. Um, there was a, we made a mistake on one run that broke out, and, and we just missed some tackles on the other one. And other than that, you know, they couldn't throw the ball much. And, and uh, I, I thought our guys were great. Terrific play on third down, both sides of the ball today, which is something we've really been hoping for. And uh, so, um, but the inability, you know, you, you, it counts when you score. You score those touchdowns. We didn't get that done today. And, and so, uh, um, it's just uncharacteristic, and I, I, th I think we're moving in, in, a, in a good, positive direction. We played really hard. We played tough, uh, stayed healthy throughout the game, and, and uh, saw some guys do some marvelous things. And um, so, really fired about the defense, and I thought that uh, Russell was very resourceful today. Um, not maybe as sharp uh, we, because the balls you know, weren't handled well, but um, when we needed it, uh, he was making plays in the, in the touchdown drive. It was phenomenal, um, and. Uh, the guys came through in, in great fashion. And I do think uh, you know, we, we, in our locker room, we're talking about how the offensive line finished this day today, uh, blocking and doing the things we need to do and protecting to get the, the touchdown drive and then to take 447 or whatever it was off the clock and kill the game. That, that's that's uh, something we take great pride in. And so, uh, uh, and, and along with that, when you don't turn it over, you got a chance to win. So it was, it was a solid uh, performance in, in some ways with a lot of room for improvement. And uh, we won't miss any of that. So looking forward to the next week. And the uncharacteristic step, Russell maybe not being a sharp, but then for to come together on the drive when you need him most was that. Yeah, and that's what you know, love about him. He's just that's who he is, and uh, he was right in his element. We hurried it up a little bit and, and up tempo to, just to make sure that we could uh, just shift what was going on, and, and he handled that beautifully and took advantage of it. And he, you know, he took off four times in that drive, you know, and, and made first down. So, pretty pretty big time stuff. Touchdown pass, is that a play only he makes? Is that such you, you know, I didn't see it. I couldn't see I, I still haven't seen the play. I, I saw the, him escape and throw it, and then I couldn't see anything. So I, I know he must have thrown a great ball, and I heard you know, Paul stay in bounds and all that. I didn't even see the replay because I was busy doing other stuff. I'll have time to see that. But um, he did that three or four times in that drive, you know, and then yeah, just in remarkable fashion. We're very lucky that, he, that we got him on our side. What did Richardson go through to come back in the game? And yeah, he did dislocated his finger and uh, had to have, and, and really it was one of those ones that uh, compound, you know, and so he had to get it all sewn up and went back in, catch a touchdown pass um, with it. So, good stuff. What did you think of Chris Carson today? Uh, I th thought again, Chris looked really good. Uh, I thought Chris can, has really shown us nothing but really positive stuff. There's a style about the way he runs that, that uh, you might recognize, you know, and, and there's that uh, high knees and the big chomp, chomping that, that ground, eating that ground up. Um, and he's really, really downhill at you. And uh, we've seen it for a long time, and we just kind of keep hoping to see it continue. And I, I think we, we got some. I think he's a really good football player. Um, I, I say that because he's a good pass blocker, and he's a good catcher, and he's a good route runner, as he can contribute on teams too. So that's, that's, that's a lot of real positives for a first-time guy. That really, he has very little background. You know, junior college kid. Didn't play much as a junior. I think he carried the ball 80-something times as a senior. So he has not had a lot of football behind him. But you would never know it. That's not what we're seeing. And it's not what we saw in the offseason and, and, and finding him. So I'm really fired up for him. Thomas got you know, some carries that had trouble getting started. But it wasn't because of Thomas. We needed to help him more. Um, but he's back. That's what I love. Thomas is back in action. So we're, we'll see how that fits together. And, and uh, after all this time to get the ball five or six times, whatever it was, that may be enough for the first time out. And, uh, but he'll. We know that Thomas will have a lot of uh, a lot of yards to gain out there when we get him back out there. So that was the plan all along for limited carries. Um, we were not going to overwork him. Yeah, that was really clear. But it, I didn't know if it would only be five or six. I wasn't worried about that part. I just want to see how it went and just get him playing football again. And he, and he got back out. And so that that gives us a real boost that we have him. 
happen to Eddie Lacy? Or no, was it a no, we just, you know, we have so many spots, you know, and, and so we wanted to see Thomas come back, and so uh, and that was what the decision was. And there's a couple other things that entered into that, too. That's not like it has to be that way all the time, but it was on this game. I, I hate that he wasn't out there. You know, I love Eddie, and we want to be part of it, but uh, in this, this, this matchup with uh, the guys that were healthy and all of that, this way we had to go. Well, where does Eddie fit into the backfield going? We're part of the part of our guys, man. I, I'm fired up about our group, I mean, and we we just got. I don't know what we rushed for today. It took us a while to get it going, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna be on it. We're gonna stay with it. We're gonna keep doing it. Uh, uh, play to our defense just like we have for years, um, and let those guys have the field position. John Ryan did a great job today, kicking them deep again as he did last week. That's how we have played. And if you guys haven't recognized that, that's it. And then we make them go long yards, make them go against our defense, and and uh, and then keep working that clock. I, I was. It was phenomenal. We had 45 plays in the first half, I think. I think that was the number. Um, that's ball control, and we just didn't finish them with the, with the touchdown catches. And so uh, um, those are all things that I'm not even worried about at all. i just disappointed that that was part of the story today. I was going to ask you about that. You know, 45 plays in the first half and still to only have six points. What, what kept you from putting more points on the board there? We, we missed the touchdown pass, and we missed the touchdown pass. So that's 14 points right there that would have made a difference. And so unfortunately, that's that, you know, that, that's it. It's like, what's the mystery to it? There's no mystery. That's we we got to catch the football better than that. You talked about you know, how the offensive line finished. What did you see maybe different out of them in those last couple? Of I hours? thought they were very they, they were very poised about knowing what the situation was, knowing that they needed to get off the ball together, not, not you know false start or mess it up and reach and grab somebody and and, and, and mess up uh, the continuity of the drive. And, and they, I thought they were very confident and very poised about it. And that's a that's a, a big step for a young group of guys. Uh, I mean that he's back and back in action. Uh, you know we, we're going to keep keep working at it uh, on the return game too because we know he's going to break some, and uh, it's great to have him back out there. He's really he's at back to full speed. What do you think about the 49ers team? Is that a improved 49ers team? Yeah, I think they look good. I thought I, I thought that uh, their offense was uh, was challenging. They did a lot of good things today. We didn't give them much, but they they still uh, taxed us because they they do have a really good scheme. They have nice principles and things that they're trying to do. And then I thought Robert Sala's defense looked great today. I thought they they hung in there and really played good solid football. Um, it wasn't enough to win, but it was a very good job. So they they look like a, they're going to improve like crazy because they're so young and they're so new at it all. And so uh, we're lucky we got them early in the year. To Jimmy Graham when he came out? Were there any other injuries? Uh, he banged his knee. That's what I know. I mean, he, he was okay, I heard. How did Russell look to you today? I, I thought he. Uh I thought it was a little bit rough, but I think that's caused by the misses that we had. I think we had four or five balls that, we, that got away from us. Uh, he was high with a couple of balls when it was raining, and the balls got away from Doug and got away from somebody else and, uh, over the middle. Um, but I, I thought when we needed him to come, well, let's go back to third down numbers. Third down numbers were, were almost 50% today, and that's what we're talking about. In the red zone, he threw a couple of balls that were touchdown passes that we didn't get, and he got another one. Um, so, uh, But more than, all, more than all that, the way he competed down the stretch, I thought he was – he was beautifully, beautifully played ball, ball game for us today. Nico Thorpe, what happened to him? He did sprain his ankle. Yeah, it's a lateral sprain. I don't know. Uh, X-rays were okay and all that, but I don't know how to report on that. Other than that. Hey, Jimmy's got nine receiving yards now all year. It's not the kind of start he's used to. Yeah, that's not what we would expect to have happen, you know. And uh, so, you know, he had, he had some good shots, and chances today, and they they got him, hit him really good on on one seam route and, and all that. But it'll it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it at all. With Paul's finger, do you expect that to be an issue? I don't think so, because he came back and played, you know. So I think he's okay. What did you think of your run defense? Um, we had two mistakes. We had two errors in there, and other than that, I thought we played terrific. I thought it was a fantastic day playing run defense. The, the one, you know, the, the guy went for 60 yards or something on the one carry. We, we just made a horrendous error on the play, and and, uh, um, and then he's good and fast, and he, you know, he maxed that play out. So I think other than that, I thought we did pretty good. Anything else? There's that pause. <laughs>